the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. And brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and shall prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrary of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to full sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May all oh, God have mercy in us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to our lasting life. Amen. Oh, let us pray. O oh, God, who have prepared fitting help for us in our weakness, Grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in the holy way of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in you and you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked sit among themselves, thinking not aright. Let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God, and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us, he is a censure of our thoughts, Merely to see him is a hardship for us, because his life is not like that of others, and different are his ways. He judges us to base. He holds aloof from our path as the things from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just, and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hands of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test, that he may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were the thought, their thoughts, but they erred. For their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsel of God. Neither did they count on the recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evil to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He watches over all of his bones, not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt and takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea, because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish feast of the tabernacle was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And 
look, he's speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? And when do we know where he is from? When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me, and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own. And the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him, because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Your friends, this morning's responsorial psalm, we heard that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. I think that simple line, that simple sentence, is very powerful for us to consider. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. When we feel brokenhearted, when we experience being brokenhearted, when we feel downtrodden, when we feel like perhaps those around us do not support us, perhaps we feel alone, perhaps we feel as if uh, we've been abandoned, or that we're lost. Do we realize that the Lord is close? And have we ever considered why the Lord would be close to the brokenhearted, to those who feel abandoned and downtrodden. Well, have you ever considered who was the first to ever be brokenhearted? God. From the original sin. He was the first to suffer the pain of original sin. When Adam and Eve turned from him, betrayed him. God loves each and every one of us, loved Adam and Eve, but they turned from him. They sought happiness in something other than him. And so it stands to reason that his heart was the first one that was broken. And not only that, but here, both in the Book of Wisdom which is a foreshadowing of what will happen to Jesus Christ. And we hear in the gospel how there are those who are plotting against him. That despite Jesus proclaiming the truth, despite Jesus performing miracles, bringing healing and comfort to those in need, they seek to destroy him. Jesus being betrayed by those around him. We know in his passion that he suffers both physically but also emotionally, spiritually. He feels the betrayal. He feels those who turn against him, those who reject him, those who deny him. And so yes, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted because he knows that pain. And so it's important for all of us to realize that whenever we suffer, whenever we go through an experience of feeling brokenhearted, lost, abandoned, whatever it might be, that God is close, that God will be with us in it. That if we turn to God in that time of need, we do not suffer alone. That we'll be united to him. That he will help carry us through that. He will strengthen us in those moments. And in the darkness provide us light. Jesus Christ does come to save us from our sins. But he also unites himself to all of humanity. And he suffers with us. And so it's important to know, especially in times of trial, especially in times of difficulty and hardship, that God is close, that God is with us. So today, 
as we celebrate this Mass. Let us hear these words and be consoled. Let us be strengthened by these words and know that, yes, God is with us, both in the good and in the bad. Let us bring our petitions before God. Let us pray for Father William Folsom, who this Mass is being offered for. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, for Pope Benedict Emeritus, and for all the bishops and cardinals of the world, that they will be good shepherds and guide the church in truth and integrity. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For all priests, all religious, and all those who are striving to serve God, that we will grow in our trust and reliance in God's grace each and every day. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick, all those who have been infected by the coronavirus, all those who are suffering around the world, that they may come into the presence of Christ and find healing and peace, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For our men and women in the armed forces, for our first responders and our doctors and nurses, that God will send his angels to guide and protect them in their time of need, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For our president, our congress, and our judges, that will be guided by the Holy Spirit in the conduct of their office, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. And for... Intentions in our book of special needs, we pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. And for all our beloved dead and all those who mourn their passing, we pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, we know that you know our needs even before we ask them, so bring all the petitions to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we receive the bread of the earth and the command of the comes for us and bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Brothers and sisters, in my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. We pray in the Lord of His name for our good and for all His holy church. May this sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source of ever greater purity to Christ our Lord. Lord, be with you. With your spirit, 
plant your harvest. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you that more holy Father, Almighty, and eternal God. When you have given your children a sacred time, for the new and purifying of their hearts, and free from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of the passing world, as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. So with all the angels and saints, we praise you as we have and we are plain. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, and Zion in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Zion in the highest. Are indeed holy, O Lord, the thoughts of holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, but let them come on your spirit upon the living of all, so that they may become for us the life and love of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks for the gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, for me, this is my body, be given for you. Similar way, the Lord was in. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take it, spoil it, drink it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the day of an eternal covenant. We pour it out for you for many years of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection to Jesus Christ. There, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we all speak the word of bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the elders for the divine your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into the blood of the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church bread throughout the world. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hold of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy. Welcome to the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Joseph of her spouse, and the Blessed of the Father. And all the saints who played you, we have the end. We may marry, we go there, we turn on. And we pray to glorify you through your Son. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of 
God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world, blessed is those called to the Son of the Lamb. The word I know is in the Lord. Come and say the word of my soul. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so the former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind. Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel. Defend us in battle. We are protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be you, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince, that have with us. By the power of God, brought us into hell, Satan, and the other evil spirit. Crown up the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. To the divine prayer. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of the Pharisees. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the Lord's day spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. And may the heart of Jesus and the most blessed 